off to find where we're gonna live. But first we have to drop off the kids. I don't have any makeup on yet, but I brought it along so I could do it in the car because we have like a three to four hour drive. Plenty of time to put on my makeup. And I slept with my hair in a braid because I've got a new way of doing my hair. I braid it, sleep on it, and the next day I take it out and it's all like crimpy curly. I got snacks, I got some makeup, my computer so I can do some work. Oh, you're gonna carry it? You got it? I got it. You got it. Hi, you remember Nikki? Love you. Be good. Be good. Be good. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Yes. Where's the coffee? Looking for land. Oh, please let this be the one. Very wooded. So we have a lot of land cleaning to do. This land hunting business has been stressful. We looked at three properties so far and none of them have been what we liked or where we like or what we want. We did find one that was not on our list and now we're gonna try and look at that one next and find out if that will be an option. This is like the only option right now. <laughs> so how are you feeling about the land choices? <laughs> I think we looked at what five? Five or six properties today. We narrowed it down Tomorrow we will go out and get them to survey it, see how much it's going to cost, and then go from there and then decide what we're going to go with. Stay tuned for more. Where am I going? Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> we're heading back to the hotel now to finally check in, look at some of the land that we found that was actually unexpected. We didn't plan to come look at it, but we found it just driving, and then go out for some dinner. the properties today, get them surveyed, and then figure out how much it's going to cost for all the stuff so then we can make our final decision. Okay. 
it has been a stressful journey. I just could not bear to film anymore that day that we got the call that our buyer pulled out. I was sick to my stomach and I was questioning saying, God, is this really what we're supposed to be doing? Why did we get this call while we're here that our buyer pulled out? It just, it wasn't making sense to me. But we met with our builder that day and went over some things and finalized some things. I was just sick to my stomach trying to just make sense of it all and holding back tears the whole time we're sitting there. When we got in the car to drive back home, I just started crying and not like a woe is me crying, but just kind of confused. Like, I don't understand God. Like, if you brought us here and this is what we're supposed to be doing, I don't understand why the buyer pulled out and now we're back to square one and we lost all that time. So the next day we put our house back up and we had two showings that day and then we had another two showings on the Saturday and then we had one on that Sunday and then Monday we got an offer we did some counter offering and we ended up accepting the offer everything worked out anyways we're waiting to close next month everything just kind of worked out but I feel like I need to hold back sharing more now because I feel like you share and then something happens and you have to explain it to everybody and then you reshare again. So I'm kind of just keeping some things in a little bit while we just try and figure all this out and things play out how they're supposed to play out. And then when we actually close, that's when I will share that we closed and that we will be moving. Right now, our dilemma is trying to find a place to rent there or here while we build. A lot of places don't do short-term leases and so we're just trying to figure out all that. We are going next week to pick out colors of the house and design the house with more detail and all that so that should be fun and I'll share that with you guys take you along on the journey and we also got our land and we secured that so we're just kind of waiting and hoping and praying that everything goes well with our our house so we can sell it and then get up there and try to figure out what we're going to do next as far as renting where we're going to live and then you know breaking ground on our house the moral of the story is things don't always go according to our plan god always has a bigger plan for us he knows what he's doing and he's lining up the pieces and sorting everything out to make it how he wants to make it and to make it according to his plan, not ours. Something I have to remember and that's something I'm learning throughout this whole journey because I have no control over some of these situations, that it's in his hands and it's according to his time and his plan, not mine. Tori can't see the future. Tori can't plan things. I can plan things all I want, but that doesn't mean they're going to come true or they're going to happen. So just trying to give it to him and trust him that he will let things happen how they're supposed to and direct our path. Everything always works out in the end. It's just that in-between part that's the messy trials and the testing of our faith. You saw the beginning where we put the house up and now you're seeing the mushy, messy middle stuff and then you'll see the end when we get the end product. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you continue to follow me along this journey because I want you to see the middle stuff. I want you to see the real stuff. The reason why I share it is so you can see real life and real things. You guys know what real life is and so I'm just sharing my real life with you guys and that things just aren't always easy breezy. Things don't always fall into place how we want them to fall into place. There will be some trials, but there's going to be some hard times, there's going to be some valleys, but after those valleys are the peaks and that's when we can just celebrate and enjoy the fruits of our labor. I'll try and keep you guys updated with more house stuff as we go. I know many of you are interested when we start building, just the building process, so I will try and share as much of that with you guys as possible. And I can't wait to show you my gym I'm getting. I'm very excited about that, but that won't be until like next year sometime. Patience is a virtue and I have to learn to be patient and wait patiently and wait for my gym. Thank you for watching our journey and I will continue to update and post and I'll see you guys later.